Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloon. We are on a job site today and we are setting up an organic garland over a doorway. So here you go. This is our organic garland and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it start to finish right now. What we're gonna do for our organic garland to start with, we're gonna start with the 11 inch balloons. And then you just want some sort of compressor. I mean, you could do it all by pumping it by hand, but that would get very tiresome. And the thing is that you don't wanna size them. You don't wanna make them perfectly sized. Um, <laughs> my assistant here is starting to put them into quads, but we're not ready for that quite yet. Um, so, so you don't wanna make them all the same size. You wanna make them all differently sized. And as much as possible, you want to try to make them round, not light bulby. So, lots of noise now. So, if you have them kind of light bulby like this or teardroppy, then you're just going to want to let some air out. And if you kind of push it against you and roll it around, then you'll see it'll take on a rounder shape. And the rounder they are, the better that they're going to look when you put them into the uh, when you put them into the garland, okay. So rounder is better. And also, if you inflate it up bigger and then let it out, it's going to be a little bit squishier and it'll be an even nicer shape. So you're just going to do. Oh, and then you saw I tied them together. So I tied them into a duplet. These are actually pretty close to the same size. Um, so you want to try to really make them different sizes. But if you look down here, you see that I have them all different sizes. And so when we start quadding them together, they'll, you see, we'll have, we'll have like big and small. And then the ones that are kind of teardroppy, again, if you just kind of roll them, roll them, push them into and roll, then you'll see it'll take a nicer rounder shape. And then to make your quads, you're gonna take two duplets and simply twist them together until you have a quad, just like so. So that's how it starts, is with the 11 inch balloons. Then after you've finished your 11 inch balloons, then you're gonna to move to your five inch balloons. And your five inch balloons, you also wanna tie them into duplets. Um, and I'll come back in a moment once we clear out all this and I'll show you that next step. Okay, so now we have all of our 11 inch balloons in quads. You see that our quads are all different shapes and sizes. I didn't round out all of them the way that I should have, but, um, but that's okay for right now. Anyway, so now what we want to do is we want to take some 260s. Those are the long skinny balloons. And you see that I've tied two 260s together to make a little chain. I'll probably end up putting on a third one later. Um, and what I'm going to do now is you see I'm just kind of putting it through. I'm holding the nozzle and I'm just going to kind of figure eight it a couple of times. And then if you really want to make sure that it's good and secure, you can also tie it. Um, okay. And then now what you're gonna do, you see I'm just gonna put this up on my hand like this. Oh, thank you. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make the garland. Now, what's important here is that even though they're wonky sizes, we do want them to um, kind of nestle together nicely and form a pretty tight garland. And that's really gonna help us also when we go to hang it. Okay, so today we're doing a frameless one. We're not we're not gonna be putting it on a frame, we're gonna be hanging it. All right, so you see I'm just gonna continue stacking them and then I take that 260 and I figure eight it together and that's gonna kind of make them pull nice and tight. And so you see we're just gonna continue doing this basically until all the balloons are gone. We may cut some off later, we may find that it's too long, we may find that we need to add more. Unfortunately, with organic, it's uh, it's more an art than a science. <laughs> so, um, this I'm making this to go over a doorway, and I just kind of guess that maybe about uh, 25 feet would be good. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> we will find out. But anyhow, so you see how I'm doing this? So this is, and you can see, like if you just left it like this. It just looks like somebody messed up, right? 
I mean, if we just leave it with the different sizes like this all by itself, it just looks like somebody was doing it that didn't know how to size their balloons and it doesn't look intentional. So adding in those five inches is what makes it look really intentional and gives it that artistic, um, you know, the fun and the sizing and everything like that. So um, I'm just gonna continue on with this for a bit and I'll catch you in just a, in just a bit, in just a bit, <laughs> when we go back to five inch. <laughs> Okay, so now we're doing the five inches. You probably can't hear me. So now we're gonna do the five inches. And here's the thing about the five inches, right? It's gonna feel like you have too many, but you can't have too many. The more five inches you have, the better your garland is gonna look. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you real quick. Let me make um let me make a little bit more and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with them. All right, so now I've got a couple of uh, five inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist this one into a quad, and this one I'm going to leave as a duplet. Now I'm going to take my 260 here, and what I really want is just pieces of 260s. So even like basically I cut it into thirds, just like this, okay? And then I'm going to take a third of a 260. That's the long skinny balloons and I'm tying it to the nozzle of, <laughs> I'm trying, but my nails are getting in the way, to the nozzle of one of the balloons in the quad. And then the other side, I'm gonna tie into the nozzle of one of the, <laughs> one of the duplets. Yeah, this is why I didn't have nails for a long time. Okay, so now this is what I have, you see? This 260 is basically acting as a rubber band. Now, we're gonna come over to our garland over here. See, here's our garland. And basically, we're gonna take this, using the 260 as our rubber band, and we're just going to stick it in somewhere. Just like that. And then you see, like, the addition of those little balloons. I don't know if you wanna just come right over here to get this angle. You see how much this adds to it? And so, by the time we hang this up, we're gonna have little balloons everywhere. And then once we hang it up, then we'll see where we need to add more little clusters, where we need to maybe add some bigger balloons. Um, so it's kind of like the skeleton of it is that we start with the 11 inch and then we put in the little balloons. And then once we get it, on, it placed, then we manicure it to add whatever other balloons we need and to dress it up a little bit or maybe to add some larger balloons to make it bulkier or things like that. So you'll see as we go. Okay, so since we have it all on 260s, just for some extra stability, I'm gonna put it on a Dacron line. This is, um, this is arch line. It's, uh, it doesn't stretch like fishing line would, and it's also kind of smooth, so it's not gonna cause fi friction tears. So you see, I'm just gonna kind of come through and like figure eight it around. And I'm just gonna, you see, I'm just gonna kind of come through and like every so often, put it through, figure eight it. It doesn't have to be an exact science, but basically the reason that I'm doing this is in case those 260s break. So I've got, you know, so I've still got it nice and secure. You see, it doesn't take that long to just go through it real quick. Kind of putting it through, figure eighting it. And you can see how we added all of the little balloons and what a big difference it makes. And sometimes you just kind of kind of manicure it, put it back into place. Um, this size, we, we lost this, so we're just gonna attach them back together using our Dacron line. And then where it's a hole and it doesn't fill perfectly, no big deal, I'll just throw another quad in there. I don't get all tangled into it. What on earth? Oh my gosh. 
it's probably easier to put the string through before you add all the 260s, but um, I forgot. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's not a big deal to do it afterwards. Um, it might be a little bit more confusing, but not a big deal. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave it trailing off of this end because this is actually the end that we are going to be hanging. Anyways, okay, we'll come back in just a moment. Okay, so what I have here now, you see um, we're in a venue, I can't uh, put holes in the wall. So what I've got is the 3M command hooks and we're gonna use these. So we got some alcohol pads and what we let's prepare these first of all uh, before I get up on the ladder. So to prepare these, basically you just follow the directions. It pretty much tells you what to do. So essentially you just, uh, let's see. First of these, okay. So one side goes to the hook and one side will go to the wall and then it just stretches and comes right off. So we're just gonna prepare the hook. Pretty important, make sure that you get it going the wrong way because I've done it upside down before and it just doesn't work very, very odd. So uh, bear with me, I'm just gonna prepare a couple of hooks here. Okay, just like so. And I'm gonna put a hook in my pocket put the trash in my pocket. Okay, and then I wanna get this up as high as I can over here. So, then you take an alcohol pad and the alcohol pad is just to like remove whatever du dust or dirt that might be here. So, <laughs> you can see by the, by the difference of the color here that there was a fair amount of dirt <laughs> on the wall. Okay, and then you're just going, <laughs> And this is a five pound hook because this one's going to be bearing the most torque on it. So then you just figure out where you just clean, put it down, and then hold it, pushing it down for like 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna put a loop here in this one, just like this. And then we'll come manicure it more afterwards. Okay, and what I wanted to do, um, I'm changing my design as we're here because my original design quite simply is not gonna work because these are not magnetic. I thought that they were magnetic and they're not. So we're improvising. We're just gonna make this go across and then come down on the other side. So the tricky part is that I gotta get it up high enough so that it's not gonna be in people's way. So I'm gonna put another hook over here and then, um, and then you'll come back and see it because I need all hands on deck. <laughs> a full 260 that I just tied into a circle with a knot. And then basically what you can do to, to join the pieces together is I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna stretch it over a couple of balloons. And the reason that I wanna do a couple of balloons 
and not just a single balloon because if that balloon pops, I don't want it to come off. So I'll, I'll end up, you see, there's my rubber band. It's around a few balloons. I'm just gonna take it and let's see, where should we join it to? Maybe just to this piece right here. And the same thing, I'm just gonna kinda, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kinda shoving the balloons through the rubber band and then you see that makes a pretty good connection there. And then we'll add some more balloons in here and the hole, we'll manicure it and then I'll come back and get you a picture when the whole thing is done. Uh, so now we're just gonna add a little bit more to it and we will be back soon. Hey guys, so here we go. This is our organic garland uh, in rose gold, gold and silver. We have a little bit of chrome, silver and gold just to add a little bit of extra texture. Um, we didn't use the big balloons just because we're in such a small space. There, we couldn't. So I had planned that I was going to use some larger balloons, but um, a lot of times you just got to adapt. So here we go. It's not exactly what I had originally planned, but we had to adapt and I think it turned out pretty cool. So here you go, our organic garland. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you tell everybody that you know that they should subscribe to my channel and make sure you should su subscribe as well. Um, make sure that you leave me a comment, you know, if you like it, let me know, give me some love and share the video with everyone you know. So there you go. Until next time, just go forth and balloonify.